show you how to approach making screen prints. On the left you see a printout in color on an 8.5 by 11 sheet and on the right you see the original pastel drawing. This is my own work so I decided I would like to see how it looks in screen print. Another example is under this. This is in three colors of Conte. I did a little experiment to see how it would work. Experiment I used white, black, and a medium kind of tan Conte. And here it is again printed out on an eight and a half by eleven sheet. And what I've done is to put registration marks on opposite sides on the sheet of paper. And you can see. I've also done that on a couple of others that I'm going to convert into screen prints. And they don't have to be exactly anywhere, but I put them approximately in the middle on the sides and the top. Here's the one of the pastel. You see the marks again. And this is going to help me to line up my layers correctly. Over the top of it, I put a sheet of transparency. I use some photocopier paper. It can be any kind though, any transparency. If you have a different size, you can just get acetate and cut it so it'll fit. Mine are pretty well lined up, but they don't have to be. And once I line them up, I use my ruler, and you can see this little part moving in air, it looks like. This is on the acetate. I line those up because this is going to become a layer. I'll show you what a completed layer looks like in just a second. The layer I'm going to show you, I put it at the top, then I use my pens and I cover it up to white, thereby marking what will be one layer. And that layer will be done with photo emulsion. Okay, now you can see these black marks over the top of where the white was. This will become one layer. And you see when I move this, I line these up. I put it down, made my marks. Now when I go to make my copies, my different layers, in Screen printing, I'm going to have one layer, it will be the white, here's my other layer, which is black. You can see I put it on, the black is for the shadow, the white is for the highlight. Get it lined up pretty well. And you can see, wherever there is black or something dark, I shaded it in. Again, using marker pens, you can use whatever you like, as long as it's dark and will work with photo emulsion. My last layer. I'll do the mid-tones. So I've got my sheet down. I'll take this and the part that looked tan, I'll highlight those. When I go to print this out, I'll print it on paper as the color of the background, thereby not having to put a big flat down. Flats are a problem a lot of times because you end up with a layer that gets soaked. So it gets really wet and maybe part of it won't be covered and you do it again. And then part of it's too wet and sticks to your screen while the other part finally gets covered. And it, it doesn't look very good. So I just use a background that's appropriate. And I basically have four shades that way. Black, the background, the tan, and then the white. And I'll show you in a later film how I actually go about printing that.